Hello everyone. Hope you are doing well. Today we are going to look at a very important concepts which is called classification of accounts. Classification of accounts is done in two types: personal account and in personal account. Personal account is again classified into three types which is natural person, artificial person and representative person. In personal account is again classified into two types which is real account and nominal account let's go with the first one personal account in personal account we deal with three different accounts first one is natural person natural person is a, a person's account a individual human beings account for example ram's account rahim's account bhim's account robot account lakshmi account etc these are natural persons second one is artificial person artificial persons related to a group of people firms institutions for example infosys limited bharat bank limited bharat bank life insurance corporations of india and wipro limited as examples for artificial person and third one is representative person representative person this account is also called as person in nature like salaries payable account rent receivable account etc these accounts refer or refers to a particular group of persons or a group their uh, rules of debit and credit are personal accounts debit the receiver credit the giver in all the three it represents the same now let's see the second account in personal account other than a personal account is grouped as in personal account they are again classified into two types which is real account and nominal account real account real account relates to assets assets are the things of value which helps the business to generate revenue these assets are of two types tangible assets and intangible assets tangible assets like building furniture etc intangible assets like goodwill copyrights and patents and the rules for debit and credit are debit what comes in and credit what goes out now let's look at the final account which is nominal account nominal accounts related to expenses losses incomes and gains the examples of nominal accounts are wages rent paid commission received discount allowed discount receipts the rules for this are debit all expenses and losses credit all incomes and gains hope you all understood this concept of the classification of accounting and the rules for debit and credit